inspirations for sponsoring today's show and tell. Today, I'll be showing you four different afghans that I've made, and two of the afghans use a chunky chenille yarn, where I'm actually using a crochet hook, and the other two afghans, I'm using loop yarn, and I'm only using my fingers. So first up, we have this beautifully waffle textured blanket. It is actually called the Bernat Easy Baby Waffle Blanket. And it is a baby blanket, but I wanted mine to be larger because I made this for my mom because the waffle stitch is her favorite. So I changed up the multiples to make it larger. And I used the Bernat Blanket Twist Yarn. And I really enjoy Bernat Blanket Twist Yarn because the twist makes your stitching look very nice and it sort of tones it down, but still, it has very good stitch definition throughout your afghan. And it's the same Bernat blanket that we all know and love, the chunky chenille. And the color I used here is called Purple Haze, and this color is called Sea Breeze. And I made a similar afghan using Purple Haze, and my crochet friends from around the world really enjoyed it, so I decided to make another one with a slightly different textured stitch. And this used a 9mm crochet hook, and I used 7 balls of the Bernat Blanket Twist Yarn because with the Waffle Stitch, it's a yarn eater because it's short rows and lots of post stitches. And with when you have lots of squares and lots of boxes with the Waffle Stitch, I think it can get be a little monotonous with just, just the waffle. So I wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit, so on all four corners, I decided to make a really big and fun tassel and I think that added a really nice touch and it really added some an, another element of texture besides just the waffle so it kind of toned it down a little bit and there was two parts playing. So that is the waffle stitch blanket and this is my mom's favorite stitch. Here's the next blanket. Just give me a moment to display it. There we go. Okay, pull back a little bit. So, oh, there we go. Here it is. This is the Bernat Wavy Ridge Crochet Blanket, and it uses Bernat blanket yarn. I have one here, except this is Bernat Baby Blanket because a really nice addition with the Bernat Blanket and Bernat Baby Blanket line is that they're the same yarn. It is just that you can have a lot of fun playing with the baby colors and the more and the colors that are more geared towards adults and home decor. And this blanket uses an eight millimeter hook and it is fifty inches by I meant forty inches by forty six inches and it uses a really fun crochet stitch that I wasn't familiar with until I used this afghan. So it's in columns with two rows of double crochet in between. And then you have like a zigzagging tre two treble crochet posts that switch each other out so it creates a really cool zigzag texture. And the color I used here is called Teal Dreams and I really like how pulled out and variegated, but I think it would also look great and solid, and you can really play around with it. And this blanket, I actually made, because I had quite a bit of this color Bernat blanket, and I wanted to make a really fun and textured blanket, and this is the perfect size for something that you can have over your couch and use all year round, because it's still light enough for summer, but it's the perfect weight for winter. So that is the Bernat Wavy Ridge Crochet Blanket. Next, we'll be getting into our two loop yarn blankets. And for loop yarn, I'm only using my fingers. Here is the first of the two afghans. It's, it's quite a big afghan, so it's kind of hard to fit it on this bench, but it is the Bernat 
Easy Ripple Bernat Alize Easy Ripple Blanket, and it is made in, of course, three colors. I used slate grays, which is a variegated gray color, cream, and black, and I love the way those neutral tones blend together, but when you have the Bernat Easy Loop Yarn, there's so many fun color options, you can really play around with it. I like to mix variegated and solids, and matter of fact, I made this exact same blanket in really fun bright colors. And those colors were bright blue, bright purple, and bright rainbow. So check that out on my Instagram page. It's the exact same blanket, but it looks completely different because of the colors. And this uses a chevron stitch, which just uses basic increases and decreases. And I think it's something that people who have learned the knit stitch could just do right afterwards. And it is a generously sized blanket. It's 55 inches wide by 65 inches long, but it's easily customizable. And since it's chevron, it's quite a yarn eater because of the length, there's a lot more stitches. So it uses nine balls of Bernat Easy Loop Yarn. A normal knit stitch afghan would use six. So this is quite a lot of yarn, but I really think it's a great thing in the end. And this is a very simple pattern, like I said, and you can really have fun with the colors. And this one, I personally love just the more neutral tones, but my younger sister, she loves the bright one. And remember, all of these patterns are available on yarnspirations.com. So that was one of my loop yarn blankets. Here's the second one. So this is the Bernat Easy Spaced Garter Ridge Blanket, and it uses Bernat Easy Loop Yarn, and this is the color Denim Blues, and it's more of a simpler afghan because it has sections of knit. And then three rows of garter, so you have the ridges, and then there's another section of knit, but it's actually my one of my crochet friends from around the world's favorite afghan, because if you look at the Bernat Easy Loop Yarn, you can see how it pulls in different balls. For example, right here, you have a strip of blue down the center, and then it switches out into white, and down there, you have three sections of blue, cream, and it just pulls in its own manner. And I think it's really fun. That's why on my website, I like to call it the Color Pool Blanket. And this blanket is quite simple, and it's a pretty nice size too. It's 50 inches by 56, but I wanted to make mine a little longer, so I just made it longer, and now I mine is 50 inches by 65 inches. And this is denim blues, which is one of my favorite colors to use of an easy loop yarn. So I have this loop yarn blanket. Then I also have this chevron one. I'm going to pile them all up here so you can see all of them. This is a very big blanket, so it's kind of hard to maneuver, but it still looks right on all, in all different households because you can really have fun and customize it. There we go. So we have our two loop yarn blankets. And then our first Bernat blanket. Oh, right. Okay. Here we go. There we go. And then now we have the waffle. The, the waffle stitch creates a very heavy and thick stitch so it needs quite a lot of yarn but it's really great for winters especially here in wisconsin where winters are just frigid but here they are my four blankets remember this is the waffle stitch using bernat blanket twist yarn this is the bernat wavy ridge blanket using just the regular bernat blanket variegated and these two use loop yarn and they're both great for experienced beginners when it comes to loop yarn and all of these patterns are available on yarnspirations.com and another thing I enjoy about afghans 
is that anyone can make them. There's so many different ways you can use them. You can make them smaller and larger just to customize them and fit to your household. And I hope you enjoyed this blanket show and tell. And please make sure to like and subscribe to Jonah's Hands and Your Inspirations. And thank you so much. And crochet away, friends.